Hey guys, welcome to my 3D photo and painting installation tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to install this GitHub repo onto your local Windows machine. And if you don't have an NVIDIA's GPU that has more than 8 GB, then I suggest you to use the Colab version where you can run it online. And yeah, if you do have everything else, then you can head over to my copy of the repo where I slightly modify the codes and the instructions to make it clearer for Windows those users. Yeah, so I'll only be linking this repo down in the description, but all the credits go back to the original author. And yeah, let's get started. So first thing first, we need Anaconda 3. So if you don't have Anaconda 3, I'll link this down in the description. And it's really easy. You scroll down to download the 64-bit graphical installer for Windows and you do everything on default settings. So the next thing you want to do is to open up your Anaconda prompt. Uh, so you go to search bar by typing in Conda prompt and then you can see Anaconda prompt, not the Anaconda PowerShell prompt. We're using the Anaconda prompt. So when you open it um, and then you want to copy the first line of the command and paste it over here. And what we're doing here is we are creating a new environment. I already have one. That's why I popped out that previous message that I just quickly went over. And yeah, you just want to press proceed here and get everything done. Yeah. Uh, and then next we want to activate the environment. So once we set up the environment, the next time we use it, we don't need to install all these parts again. So you can see that it turned from base to 3DP. That means we are in 3DP's virtual environment now. So we have to set up by copying this line and then we paste this command. Ooh. You press yes. You can just do enter. You don't have to type Y since you can see the square bracket is selecting that Y thing. And now that's done, you want to find a folder location for you to install all your codes at. So mine will be under my tutorial folder and I'm going to create a new folder called 3DP and then go into that folder and you have to download the codes from here. Download zip and you can open it and you basically drag and drop to unzip here. And then yeah. And after after that, you can just go in. I also suggest you can rename this to something less longer, like 3D photo and painting, which is nicer. And yeah, we basically copy this next line, pip install-rrequirements.txt. Oh, we need to get to the right file directory first. So you want to click on this, and then you want to copy the whole file directory, and you want to go back to Anaconda prompt, and you type in cd, and then you paste it. And since it's on another disk for me, so I need to swap disk and you will probably need to do on yours if you are running on installing it on another disk. And we just follow the next um, three line of comments, pip install pi yml, pip install cthon. And if you ever got like, wait, did I just, I skipped it, ah, God, here pip install dash r requirements dot txt my bad okay so here we need to install decorator pip install decorator i forgot to write this down uh, i will be updating the code with um the correct command here i'm sorry so yeah i just fixed it you can see that it's here now you have to do this before you use the requirements dot txt one so if you get this red chunk, uh, I think you can ignore it for now because I ran it without any problems while not having to fix that red chunk of codes. Just um, copy and paste uh, the rest of the codes. And if you cannot pip install C C uh, Cython, go to here and then install, um, what's it called? Microsoft C++ build tools. And yeah, the instruction is pretty clear here, so you can fix this easily, even though you have to install some more stuff. <laughs> and yeah, lastly, we want to pip install PyQt5. And once that is done, we can head over to the next step, which is we gonna clone this page here. Um, you want to download this code, download zip. You want to, you see these folder structures, so you want this folder be inside 3D photo in painting. So 
You just want to unzip this and drag and drop this part into this 3D photo in painting folder. And then you can see it's on the same level with other codes. So you want to rename this to um, just without the dash main. And for the next step is we are downloading the checkpoints. So we need to download all six of the files and I located them already um, here. So it's easier for you to reference um, where each file should go in. And we need to create uh, checkpoints here for the first three checkpoints. Um, color model, depth model, and edge model. So I'm going to use my old version. So I'm just going to copy and paste. But downloading it, there, there probably won't be any problems downloading it. So so the next thing you want to do is go to Midas and then you want to download model.pt and drag and drop into here. So it should be something like um, this. And for the next, um, next one, model-f46, whatever, and you want to go into boosting monocular depth and then you want to go into um, Midas and then you want to download this model. And after you downloaded it, um, you want to rename it into model.pt here. So it should be, it should look like this when you um, rename it here, model.pt, even though um, it was F46. These two are not the same file, so please don't um, mess up that part, which is really important or else stuff will break. And the last one is the latest net G. So you want to go into pix to pix and here you have to create called checkpoints. And then inside checkpoints, you want to create another thing called another folder called merge model, like here, checkpoints, merge model. And you want to drag and drop that into um, merge model. So it should look like something like this. So you drag this part, I mean that file into here. And after everything is done and is placed at the right spot, um, you can go back to the base folder, which is um, 3D photo and painting where everything is. And you go to image and this will be the folder where you put all your inputs in. So I suggest um, having all file format um, .jpg or else you have to go into the argument .yml to change it. And you just basically drag and drop the image you want to put. You can run multiple images at once. And I would suggest the images to be lower than 2000 times 2000 if you only have 8 GB of VRAM on your NVIDIA's graphic card. And if you cannot run it, you have to go to the web version instead. So you just copy this line of um, command and you just paste it here and it will start running. So now all we have to do is to wait. Okay, now that's done, you can head back to your 3D photo and painting folder and you can check out the video. So in this folder, it'll contain all the results and yeah, you can basically view it. And it's pretty cool. <laughs> you can see the head is getting stretched. But yeah, you can check out the depth map in the depth folder. So you can see it here. And if you want to change it to the old um, Midas depth map, you can go to the argument and you can open up with any text file and you just have to edit this to false. Yeah, so basically we're using BMD here. So BMD uses true. You can also change the image format to PNG if all your input images are in PNG, but I suggest to be in JPG since there's some file format issues. And yeah, that's it about this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you like what I'm doing, you can support me through Patreon. And if you have any questions, feel free to join my Discord and ask it there. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.